Yo, what is up, you guys? It's your boy, Daddy Goose from Crimson Black Gaming. If you guys are from Crimson Black Gaming, you've come to check out my solo metal reaction series. Thank you guys for coming on over and checking it out. And if you guys are just from the web and you clicked on this kick-ass thumbnail, thank you guys for joining us today. And if you guys are part of the subscription team, you guys are a sub and you decided to check out today's episode, big, big thank you to you guys. Thank you for joining today. Today, we got Sleep Token, the summoning... <clears throat> Uh, I've never heard of this band, however, I have heard big things from this band, so I'm not too sure what to expect. All I know, word on the street, Sleep Token is something special, and they're really, really good, so I got my hopes up, um, and uh, I'm really excited to get into it. I'm not sure what to expect. But let's take a little look at the list. Um, the list, by the way is not going to be updated in this video because this is actually shot very far in the future because right now I am actually on vacation. So this is shot a couple weeks uh, before I'm even gone just so I can get those uploaded while I'm away so you guys still get the content you guys deserve. Um, however, the list is still looking the exact same. However, there's only one sleep token suggestion. So today, that means we're going to be doing a vibe song and that vibe song is going to be Love the Way You Hate Me by Like a Storm. Now, I usually don't talk about the vibe song early. Um, I usually just kind of let it be because it is just the vibe song. However, this song is not by all means my favorite song. It's a very good song. I do like it a lot. It's iPod approved. But the reason why I want to talk about it is I think a lot of you guys are really going to appreciate the vibe song today in the sense of they have a unique instrument in this band that I've never heard in any other band except for this one. Imminence, for example, they have a violin. Sounds amazing. Now, some bands do have violin, but, you know, Imminence make it sound really good, blah, blah, blah. But this band here, Like a Storm, I've never seen another band with this instrument in it. So I think with that factor alone, you guys might really like it. And if you guys listen to it and you pick out the instrument I'm talking about, leave a comment down below. Let's see if you guys can hear it. And uh, it's just really unique, really cool. And I think you guys will really appreciate it. With all that being said, let's move on to today's song, Sleep Token, The Summoning. I'm excited. Let's go. Early pause, 18 seconds in. Instantly, I'm getting vibes. I'm getting vibes. And you know what those vibes are? Now, this is a weird one because I've actually never played it. But I've watched a lot on it. Um, this is giving me Doom Eternal vibes. What the fuck? I know. That's coming out of left field. This is giving me Doom vibes. Like, straight out of fucking Doom soundtrack. And if you don't know, Doom soundtrack kind of fucking slaps. So let's go. Okay, sorry, double pause. What the fuck? I was not expecting soft spoken cleans like that. What the fuck? We're backing that up because that really caught me off guard. And sorry, I had a double pause there because I, if I didn't pause there, I'd been fucking just thinking that the whole time. So we got to rewind that. Trail, red in the blue. Something you say or something you do. A taste of the divine. You got my voice. 
Uh, wow, that's a first in a while. I'm fucking left speechless. Holy shit. That is so fucking good. The only word I can describe it, it's a weird word to describe metal. That was majestic as fuck. Holy shit. We're in for a long video today because I want to back that up and listen to that again. That was Goosebumps Central. Holy fuck, that was amazing. This guy's vocals are nuts. Oh man. Let what was your guys' reaction when you first heard this song? And I don't know if, if you've heard this song before. Maybe you've heard of Sleep Token before. I've never heard of these guys. So this is an absolute fucking... Uh, I don't know. This is an absolute fucking treat. I, that's the worst word I could have picked. But little speechless and my vocabulary is very low. So we're going with the word treat. What the fuck is happening right now? For once, I actually wasn't expecting heavies at all. I was expecting cleans the whole time. Holy shit. We're about to be in one for like five more fucking minutes of this. Holy shit. This is taking me for an absolute roller coaster. This is fucking amazing. This is this is some S tier shit so far. I really hope it stays the same vibe the whole time. Because so far, I think of falling in love, which is ironic. Because this is filmed on Valentine's Day. Like I said, this is filmed way for the future. So it won't be Valentine's Day when this is posted. But I'm recording on a Valentine's Day. So. There's a fucking. There's chemistry brewing here. There's something between us. This song and, and me. And uh, it's a vibe right now. Let's fucking go. I'm in a fucking trance right now. Is this real life? What the fuck is happening? Whatever is going in my ears, I can't handle this. This is fucking... This is something else. This is fucking ridiculous right now. I, and it's not the heaviest stuff we've listened to on um, the channel here. But if I'm being real, this is the shit I love. Yes, I do like... I, I like when songs maybe are a little heavier, but... Oh man, once in a while, dude. Oh, I love this shit, dude. This is so fucking good. The riff is heavy and his vocals are just so, so good. And uh, even those heavy parts really bring in the song together. This is um, this is really good. I don't know if um, Sleep Token as a whole, I don't know if the rest of their stuff is like this or this is like um, a one-off different kind of experiment. I don't know if this is like the slow song on the album. I have no fucking clue, but I'm here for it. This is a vibe. Leave more sleep token comments. 
in the comment section below if you guys know any more sleep token because god damn this is this i'm on a vibe trip right now this is great just happened what the fuck was that switch that was the last thing on my list that i was like fucking expecting i was like we're gonna have a nasty breakdown and this is gonna come in heavy what the fuck just happened to that holy shit what the fuck was that oh why is it every fucking video i do the part i mean it makes sense because i'm assuming everyone else thinks that part too but it's the most fucking replayed moment god damn it Okay, well, we're backing that up because I wasn't sure what my ears just heard after that whole song, and then that happens? Let's, uh, let's see what happens with the rest of this, then. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to make an apology here. What the fuck happened here? This was... I'm, I'm sorry if you like this part, but this was an absolute fucking masterpiece. I fucking love the direction this is going. I'm not sure what turn this is, but I'm a little sad about it right now. I'm going to be honest. I'm finding it really hard to get back in here. This whole song was a fucking masterpiece. And I don't know what this, this switch up is, but so far, not vibing it. Not vibing the switch up. I'm actually really sad right now that this is happening. But maybe they'll turn it back around. But I'm a little sad. I don't know if you can see it in my facial expression. But I was not vibing whatever this switch is. It was way too much. And, and I just fucking loved the start so much that I'm a little sad. It's not going back to that. But let's finish it up.
Oh man, dude. No, what was that ending? What was that ending, dude? I'm fucking torn by that. I'm really torn by that. You want to know what I was honestly thinking? Yes, I'm still sick. My nose is still fucked. Um, what I was honestly thinking there was that last whole part. I think we all know how much I love that first half. That first half was phenomenal. So what was going through my brain in that second half was this song has a extremely high chance of making it to the iPod. That second bit there, not great. Now that's just my opinion. I'm not trying to be rude. It wasn't great. So what I was thinking is if this song makes it to the iPod, thank God that wasn't mashed in with the first half. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to listen to that whole first section and then skip it. <laughs> skip the song when that next part comes on. And honestly, I think that's that's genuinely what might happen because I really, really, really like that whole first half. They That was something crazy. So I'm going to just absolutely discount. First time ever on this channel. I'm going to discount that whole second part there. Ever since that switch, take that part, crumple it up, yeet. I just said yeet. I'm too old to be saying that word. However, it's gone. I'm fucking throwing that shit out. And we're going to rate everything before that point. With that being said, the start of the song, mm, The Chef's Kiss, probably the best fucking sound I've heard in a very, very long time. I fucking loved it. The high notes, the fucking kicking with the heavies, just everything was, it was fucking perfect, dude. I, I haven't heard something like that in a while since Eminence, fresh. That was fucking fantastic. So with all of that being said, discounting, keep in mind, Discounting that second part there. This is the highest rating, I believe. I've or is it? Or maybe it ties. Ties for the highest. Either way, I'm giving this an 84.5 out of a hundred. That song fucking kicked ass. I fucking loved it. Um, I don't even want to think of a rating, including that second part, because that just threw me the fuck off. Those were two completely different songs. So with that all being said, 84.5, I am 100 fucking percent listening to this again after the recording, and it has a extreme, extremely good chance of being into the iPod. Like I said, I listen to that whole first half, the next part comes on, I just skip the song. And maybe, maybe, who knows, maybe I do learn to like the second half. That does happen with a lot of music I listen to where I start to like you know, parts I didn't necessarily like. So maybe I'll end up liking that bit in the end too. But that first part, dude, I can't wait to listen to that again after the recording, dude. I'm so fucking hyped to listen to that again. With all that being said, this video is already way too fucking long. So let's move on to the vibe song immediately. <laughs> okay, our vibe song, we have Like a Storm, Love the Way You Hate Me. Um, I said it at the start, I really hope you guys stick along here because I think you guys are really going to like this one. I don't say that very often, and usually I just play the vibe song, but I think this is a song a lot of you guys are going to like. Um, I've noticed you guys like a lot of unique sounds and just unique bands, and I think this is one of them. So I hope you guys stick along. Let me know if you guys find that special instrument. Comment it down below on what you guys heard, and uh, without further ado, let's get on to it. Now, I don't actually think I've seen the music video to this song, so it's kind of a music video reaction, but that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> let's fucking go.
So there's a solo. Sorry, I, I gotta pause it still in, in weird spots to avoid those fucking rat ass fucking copyrights. Um, there's a spot in here, and when the solo hits, you guys are gonna get a funny story. So fucking stay tuned for that. Uh, it's not that funny. I shouldn't overhype it. It's just a really stupid story. How about that? Here's the moment. I believe this is it. Let me know what you hear in there, and I'll see if you guys are right. And uh, let me know if you guys are vibing with it. I kind of fuck with it. I didn't think it would mix well with metal music, but uh, I really fucking do. It's actually low key, really fucking cool, and I kind of wish it was in more. I'm pretty sure it's at this part.